Good morning, folks. New NOAA report says all these algae blooms are exacerbating an acidification of the oceans. An Arctic expedition is set to explore the methane release situation. With that Arctic ice mount, John Yackel of the University of Calgary is very worried. Scientists see signs of rapid change in the Great Barrier Reef and in the form of Arabian cyclones. Experts are now calling the Jupiter event a mystery explosion. No debris or impact scar. It was no asteroid. Wrapping up articles with a solid read here on Europa H2O. The Pacific Plate, rocking as one. A 5.5 yesterday morning rang as high as 6.2 and as far north as Alaska. Believe it or not, it happened again this morning, hitting 6.6 .6 in the northern Pacific, only 6.0 at the epicenter. Unreported elsewhere, we also had a moderate tremor in northern Algeria. Not far from that, a 4.4 in mainland Portugal is on the unusual side. A 5.2 struck south of Africa, and moments ago we had a mid-level shake in Afghanistan. GOES-14 is already supplementing the 15 X-ray flux. Now it replaces 13 as our primary weather satellite. Experts are making some bold, warm predictions as there is frost outside right now, but they say warm in the middle with a cold fringe until the new year. Here's today's TORCON. Check the midday update for severe threats tonight. Here's the U.S. pressure map, important today because of where the moist, warm southern air hits the cooler north. We'll get those storms in the TORCON watch zone. Time to figure out this buoy. Either this is a serious data error or something terrible is happening. I'll ask you to go to full screen to see this properly. This buoy is a rookie, can't rule out glitches, but let's start here in May. The right column is the sea height, just over 4,600 meters. June, July, just over 4,600. Until now, sea height is down almost 300 meters. That's nearly 1,000 feet of seafloor growth up. Like I said, that's either data error or something terrible. Can you believe we got another super typhoon? Sustained winds at 160. Gusts just shy of 200 miles per hour. Before this thing hits civilization, luckily it is expected to weaken. On the other side of the Pacific, Hurricane Miriam is expected to hit Baja and also expected to weaken significantly. Gamma chart two days ago, look at the list, 23rd, 22nd, 16th, 13th. Well, this morning there aren't new bursts, but they went back and added some that they failed to post earlier. HARP data is back up. Here's the F1 critical frequency, and here it is for the whole year. For those who have forgotten, this is an outstanding measure of Earth's over-ionization. This is us year by year. Clearly, this layer is too juiced up. Huge line of active regions. Go, go, gadget decay. New spots emerging above it and to the right. Worth watching, but the primary active region is a monster spot heading over the southeastern limb. Last 24 hours of the AIA-193, no significant coronal holes. Watch these bright active regions as they crackle and morph. Keep eyes open for the flaring as Uranus opposes the sun in just three days. It's a bit after 6 a.m. Eastern time, and that's the news. Be safe.